Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Vlogmas Day 10. I'm Erin if you guys are new here. I took a little break over the weekend as you guys have probably noticed. A couple of thoughts on that. One, I just got very overwhelmed. I've taken on a lot of projects this month with launching my app, doing Vlogmas, preparing for a New Year's challenge, preparing to go home to Brian's family for Christmas, and just like holiday stress in general. So I needed to take a weekend to really just ground myself and get my head in the right place. I was struggling with my appetite to a very bad degree and I had a migraine for like four days straight. So just needed to take some time. And another thing on that note, I have completely neglected my daily routines and cleaning my house and just doing the day-to-day -day normal responsibilities. So this is gonna be kind of more of a real video. I'm gonna show you guys what my house looks like right now. It's absolutely trashed and I need to clean it. So between today and tomorrow, I'm gonna be cleaning my house. I also have a couple of appointments today. I have a therapy appointment and then I have a nail appointment. I'm going to a new nail girl, so I'm excited about that. And then I have a mobility day at the gym. So I'll take you guys along with me on all of that. And we're going to be doing some cleaning and organizing in the midst of it. So I just finished getting ready. I need to get changed for the day. So let's do that. And then we'll go from there. Sorry, that was so much talking. Brian and I went to Lulu over the weekend and I got this soft stream turtleneck. I can't remember the exact name, but it's like this super cute little pullover. So I'm going to wear this and probably some leggings. I'm going to wear these old... Lulu Alliance and these shoes. This is the pullover. I'll link it in the description. I got a size eight. I normally get a size four or six on the tops. So I just wanted it to be a little bit big, but I think it's super cute. And the material is so soft. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's kind of like a brushed material. It's called soft stream. Solid. It's always so hard to show the full fit. I have to back up like very far. Whoa. Hi, how are you? Nothing crazy. I ended up swapping the leggings for black because the, the gray looks kind of weird with this top, but just wanted something a little cute and comfy. All right, I'm gonna show you guys my house and how messy it is. I'm not the cleanest person. I've worked very hard on being more of an organized adult as I've gotten older, but it's been a time and I've neglected it and I can't neglect it anymore. I need to clean this shit, so. I don't know, I can't believe I'm posting this on YouTube, but I know I'm not the only one with a messy house, so it's fine. All right, starting off with the kitchen area, I have a lot of packages that I need to open and put away. This island is completely atrocious. This is where I've been working and it's so chaotic. I have stuff all over the floor, shoes everywhere. Again, not proud of this, but this is what happens when you take on too many things and just don't have time for yourself. All right, and then heading upstairs, need to do something with that. My room, so overwhelming. I have two bags that I need to unpack from staying with Brian. I have a bunch of clothes that I need to hang up, a bunch of clothes that I need to put away, shoes everywhere, this bathroom, not a good situation. This probably won't take super long to clean. It's just so stressful when it's messy. I also really need to clean my shower doors. Okay, this room is like my closet room and I opened some boxes that I haven't fully unpacked yet. And then I've gotten a couple more pairs of shoes, so they don't all fit in there, but I got new shoe organizers. So we need to set those up and have two extra rows here and then reorganize the shoes. I'm going through some of my stuff so I can get Brian's sister some activewear when I go home for Christmas. And yeah, not great. And then these are the stairs going up to my office. Just a lot of things that I need to take care of and my office is absolutely trashed. I have not worked up here in weeks because of this. So definitely a priority to get this fixed so I can go back to my walking desk. It's actually not that bad. I just find it very hard to think straight and work and be productive and creative or do pretty much anything when my house is a mess. So it's a big reason I've been staying with Brian because I've been just putting this off and not wanting to do it. I don't like cleaning. I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, cleaning is so therapeutic. I don't enjoy cleaning. I enjoy the feeling I have after things are clean, but I don't enjoy the process. So regardless, we need to do it. So yeah, that's the mess. And we're just gonna tackle it room by room and we're gonna start feeling a lot better. So let's get into it. It is about, I don't know what time it is right now. Hey Siri, what time is it? It's 11.36 a.m. All right, 11.36, I have a therapy appointment at 1.30, so we've got two solid hours to get a good amount of this done. 
And then I have a nail appointment at 3.30. So I don't really have time to go to the gym in between my therapy and my nails. So I'll probably come back and do a little bit more cleaning and then go to the gym after my nail appointment. That's kind of what I'm thinking. All right, let's start cleaning, yay! rack and for some reason I have a full bathroom up here with a shower so we just shoved it in the shower like that's so ghetto but I never use the shower and I don't have anywhere else to put that that makes sense cleaning the office I'm gonna vacuum really quick and then bring all of my work computer stuff up there because I've been working downstairs I already feel so much better like I'm actually excited to work again yay all clean so I just need to set up my desk with all my computer stuff All right, we're back in business with the full computer setup. I use this to keep my computer cool. I do most of my work on this monitor. And then I got this hard drive in. I'm not gonna set it up today. I'm probably gonna set it up tomorrow, but it's 16 terabytes and I've been using these two terabyte hard drives and these are both almost full. So had to upgrade. It's gonna be a situation. So we're gonna tackle that another day. I did take a break for about 40 minutes in the middle of cleaning to make an Instagram post and work on my app for a little bit. So I only have 30 minutes until my therapy appointment. So I'm gonna go make some oatmeal and then head over there. All right, oatmeal has been made. I need to eat this in about a minute and a half so I can get out the door and get there on time. I mentioned this before, but my therapist's office is super close. So I just walked there and I just looked outside and it's snowing. So it's gonna be a fun little freezing cold walk. It's gonna be a good time. You guys, I just got back from my therapist appointment. First of all, it's absolutely freezing outside, so cold. And also, apparently my nail appointment's at 2.30 and not 3.30, and it's 2.27 right now, and it's 15 minutes away. So, I definitely wrote it down for 3.30. Gotta tell her that I'm running super late, but I can be there in like 15 minutes. I feel so bad. All right, we gotta, we gotta run. We gotta run out the door, we gotta go. Okay, she just responded and said that her next client isn't in until five. So she's like, no rush, it's totally fine. I feel horrible. Horrible. I like being on time, especially when it's like service-based stuff. You know, they have a tight schedule and I'm not trying to show up like even five minutes late. So your girl was feeling real bad, but sounds like, sounds like we're good to go. We're still rushing over. This is my nails before. I have like a light brown with like a white chrome on top. And I think I might try to do a little tip moment. I think I might do olive green tips or something else. I don't know. I literally have not thought about this until this moment, so. Not sure what we're gonna do, but it's gonna be something different. All right, let's do it. I'm so happy that I switched people also. They look so good. Look at how cool that is. I just did like a teal color tip and then it's like gold chrome outline. But I think they're so fun. I'll put a link in the description of the girl that I go to. Her books are full, but there's a couple other girls that she works with that have some openings. So if you guys live in Denver and are trying to get your nails done super well, check them out. I'm obsessed. I wanted something like holiday festive, but still kind of basic. I don't like to do things crazy because anytime I get like crazy nails, I get sick of them after a week. So happy medium. So the sunset right now, like 
Sheesh. Love that. All right, heading home now. It was a little chaotic when I got home after therapy and then had to sprint out the door to get my nails done. So gonna head home, walk the dog, feed the dog, and then clean for a couple hours and then probably hit a later night lift. I just have a mobility day, so it's nothing crazy. I probably won't have too much caffeine before it. So I'm probably gonna aim for like 7 p.m. I don't know, we'll, we'll see what happens. It's about 4.30 right now. So we're gonna head home and go from there. Back home, it's almost five o'clock. Sun is about to set. So I'm gonna take the dog on a walk and then feed him and then come back and we're gonna clean for a couple hours. So. I'll probably throw some clips in here of me cleaning. It's not going to be super exciting, but I'll show you guys when it's done. I finished my office earlier. I showed you guys that. And I think today I'm going to focus on getting the downstairs clean, just like picked up, dishes done. So that when I walk into my house, it's like enjoyable and not just stressful. So that's going to be the goal today, office and downstairs. And then tomorrow we're going to do my bedroom and that extra closet room. So I don't even know if you guys care about this. I don't even know why I'm telling you, but that's what we're going to do. So check in soon. grocery shopping extremely bad and this is just what's gonna happen right now so damn it's so good this is like one of my favorite comfort meals advent calendar for Lambo like last month and I totally forgot about it so I need to look at the dates okay there's eight toys and 16 treats and we leave in eight days so 24 things total eight days I'm gonna give him three every day I know it's kind of a lot but whatever I got it from Costco Lambo I have a present for you I have a present for you. <laughs> Wanna get a present? Yo, this is so cool. Should we get number one? Is that a treat? Is that for you? Good job. You wanna get one? Chick. Thank you. Good boy. All right, number two. Another treat. He's like, I don't know what this life is, but I'm enjoying it. Good boy. All right, we're gonna do number three. I think I know what it is. Oh my goodness. You got a ball! Yay! <laughs> Every time he gets a new toy, he runs down to the, oh, he's coming back. Hi! Normally when he gets a new toy, he runs down into the basement and plays with it and then comes back up and wants me to like chase him around. He's a character. But um, yeah, we will do these in the rest of our vlogmas videos up until I leave. I'm going to Morgantown, West Virginia to spend Christmas with Brian's family and I leave on the 21st. So that's next Wednesday. Holy shit. This month is literally going by so fast. 
But yeah, so I'll, I haven't decided how I'm gonna approach Vlogmas. I'm probably gonna end Vlogmas the day that I leave just because I don't wanna be doing Vlogmas while I'm there with his family. But yeah, we will be doing these in the rest of the Vlogmas videos. So check back to see what else Lambo gets. You like that ball? Okay, cleaning update. Probably gonna call it for the night. I'm gonna vacuum after this. It looks so much better in here and I feel already so much better. I'll show you guys. Kitchen is clean. I still need a vacuum, so I'm gonna do that after I make this video, but I wiped down everything. I feel so much better. I have to bring all this stuff upstairs. I just have a bunch of shoes and then some cosmetic stuff and then some stuff for my office. I have a really bad habit of putting stuff on the stairs and then just leaving it there for like way too long. So I find that if I put it in the way, I usually bring it up, but not always. I have to take out all that trash. Hello, Mr. Man. Here's your ball. And then living room is all picked up. Hello. All right. Yay. I feel like I can finally breathe again. Again, I feel like you guys probably don't care about that. I'm just showing it because this has been my day today. Super exciting. Um, anyways, it's about 7.15 now. I'm gonna go get ready for the gym just so I don't get there super late. It's gonna be a little bit of a later night tonight, which is okay. But yeah, let's go pick out a gym fit. Here's the fit. We've got some Lululemon joggers. They're the stretch joggers, full length. And then I'm gonna do this quarter zip and this gym shut bra. And for shoes, I'm gonna do these Nikes that I customized. Haven't worn them yet. Gonna break them out today. But I think it's so cool. All right, final fit. I ended up switching out the joggers. These are my favorite joggers from Lulu. Can't remember the name of them, but I will find them and link them in the description. I feel like this is too dark to see the detail, but they have cool pockets and zippers that go up to the knee. And I just like the silhouette of them. I like the way they fit. Anyway. So it's about 8 p.m. I don't think I'm gonna do any caffeine just because I don't wanna stay up super late. So I'm gonna put creatine in my Gator Light and take this to the gym. I'm just gonna take a little. I have a feeling this isn't gonna go well. Oh shit. Just kidding. I thought that was gonna go everywhere, but it didn't. You can put your creatine in pretty much anything, put it in coffee, smoothies, I usually put it in my pre-workout, but if I'm not having pre-workout, I just put it in another liquid that I'm gonna have that day. So, it doesn't taste like anything. You can't even tell that it's in there. Tricks. Since Colorado decided to be absolutely freezing, taking advantage. And we're just not gonna talk about the massive dent on the side of my car that I still haven't gotten fixed. I love that for me. I literally hate it, but I'm not willing to give up my car for weeks to get it fixed. So I'm in the market. I'm trying to look, I'm trying to find a track hawk. I really want to buy a track hawk, but there's none in Colorado. Like literally not a single track hawk for sale newer than 2020 in the entire state of Colorado. So I've been keeping my eye out, but until then, we're just driving around. I like, I got hit and their insurance covers it. I just don't want to give up my car for an extended period of time. So haven't got it fixed yet. Driving around with a very damaged car. It's actually not that bad, but it really bothers me. And I like that it's not on my side. Like it's not on the driver's side. So I don't see it unless I'm parked in front of my house and I see it when I leave. But anyways, I think I'm avoiding the gym. Let's go train. <laughs> Wow, this is super dark. Um, all right, I'm gonna switch over to my other camera again for gym footage just so I get a little better quality. I feel like it turned out a lot better last time, but I'm not sure if you guys even noticed. So anyways, um, workout today, like I've mentioned a couple times, it's mostly mobility movements. So I'll show you guys a good bit of them. I start with some calf raises. I have Spider-Man walks. Astrograss, split squats, step downs, hip airplanes, hip glute drive, high raises, Y raises, kettlebell windmill, shoulder swimmers, wide stance, Russian baby makers. It's a great name. And then tempo squat. So a little bit of everything, mostly focusing on mobility. 
I definitely should not have waited this long to go to the gym. Every time I do this, I lose a lot of motivation. Paired with the fact that I'm not having any caffeine. We got this though. We can do this. All right, let's do it. super good workout bad news I lost the little piece to my tripod for my big camera so I couldn't film with that and then I left all of my batteries for this vlogging camera at Brian's house and I was like on the last little leg of battery so I filmed a couple clips and then I stopped because I wanted to be able to get this clip after the gym I don't have time to charge it by the end of the night because it's already 10 15 p.m. so essentially I'm a rookie vlogger and I just, I didn't get that much gym footage, not a big deal, but I will film it next week because I really like this mobility day. It completely kicked my ass and I'm starving and also exhausted. So I'm gonna go head home and edit this vlog so I can get it posted in the morning and hopefully get to bed before midnight. With that being said, I'm gonna end this video here. I feel like I say this in every video, like, sorry it was short, sorry it was boring. I just like feel like my life isn't that interesting, but you guys seem to be liking these videos, so I'm gonna keep posting them, I guess. Tomorrow I have another day of cleaning, and then we're going to Breckenridge this weekend, so I'm gonna have some exciting vlogs coming, and it's gonna be a good time. But anyways, my brain is like all over the place. I need to go eat and edit this and then go to bed. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. There's a lot of you guys that are watching these that aren't subscribed, so go ahead and subscribe so you guys don't miss them. And check back tomorrow for Vlogmas Day. 11. Okay. Love you guys. Good night.